There's a deep dungeon for that at level 90. Um, well, I mean, I'm level 90 right now. Let's go. We're going deep diving, boys. <laughs> oh, it's raining in here. Fortuitous that they were talking about the uh, environmental cycles, right? And now it's raining. I'm confident that even the deadliest of Allegan defense mechanisms are no match for our allies. At this rate, some of them might soon have as many accomplishments as to their names as a certain warrior of light. Good! I'm tired of being the only fanboy... person being fanboyed uh, around here. <laughs> time for some other heroes. Time and time again, it seems that Allegan, something or other, are either the cause or the solution to our problems. To think the self-same... I almost said it, Holo! I almost said it. To think the same self-materials that once launched Dalmond will now be used to help ferry mankind to the moon. There's a poetry in that. Uh, or when the umbrella was a little bit low, it's kind of in Astinian's face, but I think he deserves it too. Considering how much of a fuss he made at the time, I don't see why he takes every opportunity to bring it up. It was just firewood. It's like the fourth time he's referenced it. What serendipitous irony that the remnants of this seventh umbral calamity would become keys to mankind's salvation. Never more certain have I been that Master Louis Swa watcheth over us from the ethereal sea. First the Chalafroy, now the final days. Huh. No one can accuse the Isilbard contingent of backing down from a challenge. Of course, they weren't also committed to the cause when we first set out. But for seeing the example set by you, Alfino, and the others, the change was palpable. They couldn't help but believe. Alfino's undying enthusiasm. It's just infectious. Appreciate you doing all this, but I ain't getting me hopes up just yet. There's still a chance. Though Bahamut is long gone, the internment hulks are far from safe. It could be much worse, of course. They won't have to fight their way past Mericidian dragons, nor is there any danger of the Elder Primal that might be summoned again. Even so, I dare say there are still a fair few Allegan creations and contraptions remaining to bar a friend's way. I only hope the grandfather watches over them. Which, I'm so glad that we did that storyline. And, uh, not to uh, freak any of these, uh, of our friends out, but... Louis Swa has been here the whole time! <laughs> now we shall temper you all, and we shall be your god, and you shall bow down, and we will take our rightful place as rulers of Aetherius. <laughs> Lalaki is like, nope, nope, we're gonna, we're gonna take down this primal once and for all. Oh, we gotta finish the MSQ before doing the dungeon. <laughs> no, pudding. It's time like these we're reminded of how famous, or infamous, Alfino has become. Who would have thought that he could achieve so much with a single Link Pro conversation? As we're expecting rather a lot of visitors in the near future, I'd best return to the surface and inform the relevant parties. Tataru. I also have a contact of my own that might be worth a try. And who might that be? I was just thinking about that. I was kind of running through my head. I was like, who might that be? That's for me to know and you to find out. And on that note, I leave matters here in your capable hands. Best of luck. Who would know... elegant technology that Kryl would know? Would we know? Meanwhile, in Uldah... We haven't been in Uldah forever. Oh my gosh, we haven't been in Uldah forever. It feels like such a long, long time. Nanamo. We were so innocent and young back then when we started the gladiator quest line. Our course of action is clear. We must harvest refined adamantite from the shards of Dalamud and procure arcane relics of Allegan make. Summon the best and brightest of our immortal flames and form an expeditionary party at once. Call upon the salt and sworn and brass blades for support as you must. Papashan, send word to the guilds. We will require the expertise of master artisans if we are to have any hope of identifying and recovering these elusive materials. Fear guys, we have need of your stone torches. They are to assist the immortal flames in scouring the ruins and to help secure the surrounding areas. I trust I can count on your support. 
As commander of the Stone Torches, my son Zimberk will personally see it done. I think he could use a couple more scars. I would have you lead the raiding party. Assemble your finest, and with Tizona's blade, clear the way. I still can't get over that he became a dark knight with that. charge of the search for Alagon relics. Surely you know of some being traded on open or clandestine markets, or sleeping in collector's vaults. Of course, I ask not that you do this out of the kindness of your heart. By all means, profit on the transactions. I wish you the joy of it. <laughs> she knows him all too well. I love it. And the music is so sick. If circumstances are truly as dire as they say, Uldar's best efforts may be for naught. And yet, the rose from the ashes to rebuild our broken realm. Did we not learn one simple truth? That which seems all but impossible to overcome alone may yet be possible if we stand together. It was the Scions who united us then, and it is the Scions who call upon us now. And we shall answer their call. Answer that call. <laughs> we will summon our courage and join the fight for our world's future. Rohan will ride. I, Nanamo Ulnamo, 17th in the line of all, bid you good luck and good speed. Shivers. Actual shivers. That's so sick. And you know that that's taking place in all of the other places as well. It's not just in Uldah. Sikad! The song is calling, and I'm going to answer because it's fun. Yeah, Black Shroud, let's go! <gasps> we actually get to go through them all? Not <laughs> me losing myself to the music. Facts. I'm sitting here bouncing. Pray return to the waking sands, Orwin. We fielded a goodly number, but our ranks are heavy with healers, and an abundance of restorative magics will be of little help in destroying Dalamud's defenses. Heal him to death. But still. It has ever been thus with Gridania. We must steal ourselves for a protracted engagement. Oh! In that case, might I suggest taking us along? Lise is gonna punch some Allegan relics. Commander Hext, what are you doing here? Volunteering. The shards in Girabania are big enough to hold an internment hulk. So we said to ourselves, why not lend our neighbors a hand? We thought you might be short on people with a talent for breaking things. Alamegans have come. While it pains me to admit it, you are right. Our artificiency is so plain to see. Well, where you're a little weak here, you have strength in other areas. It might have been a lifetime ago, but I was once one of the Scions assigned to the Shroud. I know this forest well. I know your people. And I know we will be stronger if we fight this fight together. Why do I feel that the Ishgardians are going to help Limsa Lamensa? upon you with a clear conscience. Come, let us speak of how to integrate our forces. For Alameger! <laughs> I mean, as long as we get to have dinner with Minago's mom again, I think we'll be cool. I won't let it all be for nothing. I promise you, Papalimo. <laughs> Stormblood, call back! <laughs> Shalopi! <laughs> it's, it's actually sad, is that there's many times I'll reference that to my wife and she has no idea what I'm talking about. 
I'd be doing stuff that I'd just be like, sloppy! And she's like, what? I'm like, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's complicated. It's okay to take a moment. Yeah. And you know how much they look up to the memory of Harsh. That, that was a roar. A dragon's roar. Oh, thank you, Emmeline. I had no idea. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> no, but it's a, a monument to Harsh's sacrifice. I mean, Harsh lost a kidney and a spleen in that attack. Okay, it was it was brutal. The gold digger. So, in summation, the Eastern Alliance, as well as the Honorable Lord Lollarito himself reached out to me for assistance in procuring these treasures of the divine, and I, in turn, do beseech the Confederacy for aid. With my fancy glasses. Stuck as a bard. <laughs> hmm? Is that? Oh, yeah. Hancock? What a surprise this is. Have you come to deliver some of your relics, Sorabon? And a fortuitous one at that. I have a favor to ask, you see. Ooh. Was that one of the the four the four lords that we did the event with? Was that the snake of the four lords? It was. There's so much value in doing those. Uh, I'll be right there. In doing the um, the alliance raids and stuff, or just just the different uh, raids and and dungeons and stuff. Man, I'm really glad that I did that. All right. I love the music though. I could just sit here and listen to music. Although our friends are searching for refined Adam, yeah, adamantite and sacred relics, we will only know if they meet your requirements once they have arrived. In the meantime, is there aught else we might do to be of service? Ha! You've already done more than enough. If I had to say, though, I could use someone who knows a thing or two about elegant technology. Gra! You there, the lad with the red eyes and matching hair. You seem to know more than the average scholar. Ha! If only Master Kokol knew how right he was. While he and Graha establish a rapport, why don't we help with the preparations for the giant exodus? Indeed, this would mean going above and beyond the terms of our arrangement. But I propose this not to curry favor. As confident as I am that we will succeed, we must be ready for every eventuality. This would also be an opportunity to familiarize ourselves with the logistics of traversing the great expanse. If nothing else, it beats twiddling our thumbs while we wait for the adamantite. All right. So how are we going to familiarize ourselves with the great expanse? Well, aren't you a bunch of helpful buggers? If you've a mind to lend a hand, I know where you ought to go. Charlayan Hamlet is lousy with researchers and scholarly types busying themselves preparing for the exodus. Pah! That lot will need all the help they can get. Then off we go. We actually were just waiting for sunrise to come up again. So, that's all we were waiting on. I shall endeavor to provide Master Coco? with whatever information he should require. I'm never gonna say the name the same way twice. I'll admit it, without refined adamantite, I ain't got a bloody clue how else I can get the Aether Burner performing any better. If you lot don't come up with the goods, we're buggered. There's only one solution. Speak with Ali Zay. Oh, way over here. From what I can tell, a lot of the people actually live down here. 
I don't know how much help we can offer, but I dare say they'll benefit from some of that fresh inspiration Scholarch Montachon mentioned. Let's start by asking around, ideally without getting in anyone's way. Okay, so here are all the people that we gotta talk to. Let's meet by the Aetherite once our work is done. So this is one of the classic, let's go random a bunch of people and see what's up. Their outfits are super sick. Maybe we need to be a scholar like them so that we can get a cool outfit. Sup, Silver S. Oh, we got a Chocobo Keep. Excellent. First time. Thank you. And you are an Ethernet? Yes, we'll come back for you. You've learned the ways of the Etherwind. Gotta get our feet wet for this one again. What's with them and liking wet socks, huh? Can't be that bad.